Ryan says his friend Chris has developed an embarrassing alter ego, which he uses as a social crutch. Ryan says he has more confidence when he's in character, and that his friend is jealous of all the attention that he gets. What's the alter ego here, Ryan? What's going on, man? Your Honor, here because my friend Chris, a.k.a. Smack Racer, dresses like a total idiot, and it embarrasses me. And when we go out on the weekends, I can't get laid because of this guy. Objection, Your Honor. Oh, no no way. way. Not true. Not true. Look at him. Look at There's you. other reasons he can't what, get laid what on did a you Friday call him night. Believe me. What was he called? Aka as what? A Aka as Smack Racer. Smack Racer. That? Okay. What does that mean? I mean? It has some kind of drug reference. No. Okay. All right. All right. All right. He's trying to slander my name, okay. obviously. So, um, name. this is an example of good friends? Yeah, we're best friends. <laughs> Let me just ask you this. How long have you guys known each other? What, you know? Eight or nine years now. Okay. So, has your friend always dressed up, or what's going on? No, I saw it about four years ago. We went to a Halloween party, right. and he, you know, his screen name was Smack Racer at the time for AOL. Okay. He was like, well, I, you know, I could do Smack Racer somehow. So he comes out with a captain's hat and some aviator sunglasses, and he you know, has this big jacket on, still wears a shiny jacket. And an ascot. He thinks he's all cool. I yeah. looked really good. Did oh, you, you look good? Yeah, I looked really smart. And did you enjoy wearing it? Definitely. I have evidence if you want to see it. Of course I want to see it. I can't wait to see it. What is this? this just like a total idiot. What are we, Thurston Howe the 30? What's exactly. going on? I was going look for Charles that. Nelson Riley more. Okay. But, uh, yeah, all right. Definitely. Well, you're doing it. What party is this? Like that. <laughs> How long ago is this? Oh, it was two years ago, that party. Okay. Admit that into evidence. And uh, I have another piece of evidence here. Yep. This is at a pool party. Okay. He's dressed like smack underwater. There's a bunch of rough desert types sitting around the pool <laughs> looking at him like he's a little fairy boy. That is oh, hysterical. Oh, what were people saying when you were like in the pool wearing this? Uh, kind nobody of was really talking to me. Well, how are you a fairy? Yeah. Of course they weren't talking to you. <laughs> there you Look go. You, and then evidence. Uh, Mike, you've read you a few ideas here. What is going on? I'm, you know, expressing myself. It started off as a joke, Your Honor, quite honestly, with the Halloween party. Is the joke and over? Him. Or? And my other friends perpetuated it over oh, the we years. Don't perpetuate nothing. And they say, please, yo, you gotta think it's late because so of you. Oh, please. This is social crush. When he doesn't dress like that, he'll go to a party in his regular clothes like he is now, and he'll look around, look around the, you know, in the corners like a little loser. I'm a very private he won't person, talk to anybody. Yes, it's a social unless crush. you dress up, you can't really interact with people. He can't emote without it. Well, it's not a crutch. It's you know, just uh, help me uh, emote, basically. Not emote, but come out of my shell. I wouldn't call it a crutch. For the half of the time that you've known him as a friend. Your friend goes from Chris, mild-mannered man about town, to Smack Racer, That's who's right. obnoxious, socially irreprehensible, and he's is, an, he's is a, a total embarrassment. And an embarrassment. Total and you really have to tell him today it's got to change. Yeah, he has to change his style. Got to. All right. Reggie, questions over to Ryan, please. What did y'all do to Chris that traumatized <laughs> him so bad <laughs> that he couldn't remain Chris in your company, that he had to become mm. Smack Racer. I don't know what we did. That, that's his parents right there. That's not his friends. Oh, whoa, oh. no, no. Whoa. no. Okay. Oh, going deep now. Back now, to the bottle. Aaron, okay. over to Ryan, please. Uh, your friend, you and your friends never, you know, got on him or teased him about his look or his personality before. No, we always looked up to him. Looked did up you? To him. He was the cool guy in the group. Yes, we did. Ray, questions over to Ryan, please. Thank you, Your Honor. Chris is happy in his smack racer persona, albeit I can understand your objections. Um, sh should he not be allowed to persist in being smack racer in social no, situations? Because it affects me and my other friends when we got on the weekends. I see. In which way? Well, we went to a gas station once. We're going to a club, so I had to you fill up. You went to a gas station to socialize, am I down there? <laughs> <laughs> you considered a different venue for your social activities, such as a party or a restaurant. <laughs> Sorry? So I'm inside in the Mini Mart paying the guy, uh -huh. and these two really cute British twins come up to me. And so I'm sitting there putting on my sleazy moves, trying to get their phone number. <laughs> and then I was, it's, it's, and it's going well, too. And then here comes Chris flying his smack race. He's like, whoo, hey, ladies, <laughs> break me off a piece. And they both look. <laughs> oh, my yeah. God. And I'm like, excuse me, dear, you're not going to get laid dressed like that. <laughs> I see, but sleazy moves will get you laid. <laughs> yeah. It's worked in the past. He's not convinced this. of his case, you're all, all right. right. Now it's Chris's turn to defend himself. He'll explain his arrogant personality that comes out at night. Well, I'm a single child, Your Honor. And, oh, come uh, on. oh, please, <laughs> single child. <laughs> and later, we'll reveal the wedding day hairstyle. <laughs> Ryan is embarrassed of his friend's made up character and wants him to be his normal self. Four years ago, at that one Halloween party, you decided to come out as the smacker. Smack racer, yes, sir. Smack racer. So let me ask you this. What was the catalyst? What was it going on? What were the voices in your head? 
I mean, yes, it started out as a joke, and I completely concede that. And right. it has grown over the years, Chinese and it's, it's just us going price, yeah. out to have fun, you know? That's right. Um, but like I said, this is the first I've really heard like negative. Oh, he's come not, on. He's, he's not prosecuting him. me, Yara. He's persecuting me. And I think That's there's something right. in me that he doesn't like or that he's uncomfortable with. And I think the problem really lies with Tim Ryan. Oh, don't try to put I mean, this he, on he me. Has, Look at he you. has Look attacked my masculinity that. for no reason. What masculinity? What else is he <laughs> what else is he attacked? That's his point. He's attacked my my style and my basic demeanor while I go out at night. Okay, let me just ask you this one question, okay? It seems to be when you're smack racer, yeah. um, another persona comes out. It definitely, yes, you're Tell yes. me a little bit about anything that happened in your childhood or what was going on in your life that <laughs> makes like you know. kind of want to behind behind a mask and allow an aggressive side of you to come out. Well, I'm a single child, Your Honor. And, oh, uh, come oh, on. please, <laughs> single child. What's the aggression about? Seriously. The aggression? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We've got Greg still in hysterical crying here. <laughs> Carry on, Greg. I know it's a sad story. Tell me. He's a single child. Most, ch <laughs> most children are married. <laughs> <laughs> it's because it's like, it allows me to do things that I wouldn't do normally, and I act totally different. And it's not, it's like for laughs, you know? It's like, I can't insult my friends and be insulting and do all this and that as Chris because people will be like, oh. So you're hiding behind. They said that you it's, can really. It's, it's more like I'm just putting on an act just, to have fun and like work on. Is you this know. what you normally wear? Yeah, would you like I, me? I have to see this. So, what's the ascot? scarf about? Tell, explain to me what you're doing as you're doing it. Well, what's I mean, scarf? I was putting on my ascot. I usually have a mirror. And now, here we go. Uh huh. Looks like the what's the hat represent? The, the hat? I mean, it, the, nothing represents any. I think we're all looking too far into this, and it's just an expression of style. Alyssa, you should see what I'm seeing from over here. I can only see and look into what I can see here, man. And what about the coat? The coat is uh, a nice leisure suit, double stitch, uh, with the rust on the inside. Uh -huh. I like it a lot. I got it in Chicago. Okay. And now this is uh -oh, my I'm badge. Scared. Right. But there's a little picture of me in there, uh -huh. you know, just to keep me grounded in reality. Let me ask you this. How do you like me Would now, you Johnny? Okay, okay like I'd like that. to say hello to Elvis. <laughs> Did you meet your girlfriend like No, this? I didn't. I met my girlfriend with Ryan. We were just out having okay. something to eat. I was in the phases of dressing, Okay. but I wasn't dressed when I met but her. But she was likes it. normally. She likes it? Yes, she, she loves it. Oh, and she's here to talk, uh, to, talk yes, to you. Yes, uh, okay, what's her name? Her name is Bree. Bree, come on forward. Yes. Tell me a little bit about, honestly, why you don't see what we're seeing, which is like a little bit of a crazy guy here. What's going on here? I think, I mean, crazy is a very loose term that's been thrown around. Um, Chris usually is very shy and reserved, as people usually are in the real world, day to day life. Yes. Things have to be serious. Yes. But when you go out at night, the point is to have fun, to have a good time. Mm -hmm. Chris has always been known as the funny guy. Mm -hmm. So um, he's a bit of a comedian, and this is his act. <laughs> Usually you're shy? Yes, you're Around honest. people at a party, people he doesn't know. When does he become smack racer? At what point? At the point in the party uh, where the party is starting to Adrian's. die down, <laughs> and he decides oh, that he's going to bring it up a bit. Do you make have people your, laugh. So in the scheme of things, is it a lot? Uh, does it happen a lot? Does life. it happen a lot, or does it happen a little bit, or does it happen hardly at all? It happens. Maybe six times a year. Okay. Thank you very yeah, much, Reggie. Thank you, everybody. Take a seat, Reggie. Right. Great. Okay, Reggie, over to Chris, please. At any particular <laughs> point in time. <laughs> <laughs> in the, the, the smack race of bravado, <laughs> was Chris ever allowed to come out and play? <laughs> I don't see what the point of Chris coming out while I'm smack racer. I don't see the point of that. Aaron. I over think to it's, uh, Chris Smack Racer. I think it's acting. You like to act. There you go. Nothing wrong with that. All right. So you, you don't have a problem with this. You don't have a problem. No, I All don't right. care. Greg. Come on. <laughs> Greg <laughs> sees problems that don't even exist. Do you see problems, yeah. Greg? Thank you, Your Honor. <laughs> Mr. Racer. <laughs> Mr. Uh, Racer. <laughs> uh, am I to understand that your your girlfriend Bree is your girlfriend in the persona of Smack Racer as well? No comment. <laughs> <laughs> So she, she, uh, she isn't always your girlfriend when you're in the persona of Smack Racer. That's correct, Your Honor. However, she's happy with you and your persona as Chris. Yes. You yes. enjoy a healthy relationship with your girlfriend uh, as Chris. Yes, we do. I see. And uh, has she voiced any complaints over your Smack Racer persona? None whatsoever. I see. But she's and crazy, too. Do you feel, fool you. young man, I caution you. Um, <laughs> has your friend um, Ryan, is it? Yes. Uh, has he expressed any jealousy of the attention that you garner as Smack Racer? I think it's a testament. I think that's why we're here today. Mm-hmm. Ah. I see. 
Uh, no more questions, Your Okay, Honor. thank you very much. Chris, I am ready, as you are, right here and now, to bring down my final judgment. So please, come down into the centre of the star spotlight for the final verdict. Can you see me? Yes, I can. Can you hear me? I can. Okay. Um, I actually don't think that I have a problem, and I'm really worried about that. <laughs> and the reason I don't have a problem is because, you know what, this world is so about making everybody the same. I think, however, you may be surprised that the smack racer in you is within Chris as well. And actually, we don't believe that you need to make any division whatsoever. Celebrate as Chris and celebrate as Smack Racer. But honestly, join arms together because you'll be a much more powerful person. In the case of let me go of my alter ego, you're not guilty. Go and celebrate. <laughs> so the effort to bring down yeah. Smack Racer fails and the character obviously will live on for a while. I would imagine you feel kind of vindicated now. Oh, don't obviously, you? Doug, definitely. How do you feel? I feel horrible. You <laughs> feel <laughs> defeated, yeah. This is outrageous. I mean, you said it was a total embarrassment, but uh, nobody agreed with you. That's oh, they're right. wrong. That's absolutely right. I think. <laughs> well, at least the friendship is still okay. Right? I don't know about that. Oh, come on, buddy. I, <laughs> I believe it is. We'll don't carry it on too much here. Thank you very much. Good luck, and uh, hopefully we'll okay. see you around. <laughs> see you later.